Hey, hey, welcome you to Emerge. Here we are. Uh, we're going to throw some color on the roof of this uh, 1953 Chevy. Chevy. As you can tell, it doesn't make any difference to me what we're painting. It's sheet metal. Uh, what we learned from this, the owner of this vehicle was uh, financially conscious when he purchased the materials. So we ordered a little of this and a little of that from every other company around the world. And what ends up happening is, is you end up with the wrong product to work with. So uh, when we were going to paint it last week, he provided us with what he called sealer. And I regret at this moment, uh, on one hand, not researching the product that uh, he purchased for us. Well, what he purchased was a very fast curing epoxy primer, not a sealer. He claimed it could be used for a sealer and a primer. Well, that company that he purchased it from makes a sealer slash primer, uh, but the product he bought was not it. So when it comes to auto body, just don't play chemist. Uh, read your products. If you question them in any way, research them before you put them on, or you'll do like we did where we sprayed it on, and uh, right away it didn't take long to figure out we were shooting the wrong product. And figured may as well finish the whole panel, sand it down, and we'll start over. So that's what we did. The advantage, I guess, now is we've got a really strong uh, primer on there again. Uh, it's probably getting pretty thick now. But uh, one way or another, we're just going to throw some color on it. There's really nothing educational in this video, just pure entertainment. Cool. Perfect. Mike, do you want to say something? Yeah, I'm going to mix another drink. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you'll be able to watch us do a little drink. That's well, I, half the fun. So I got to say, uh, Don bought these amazing uh, paint respirators, and we found out they weren't for paint, so I swapped some filters, and I, I kind of redneck go. What are you using? You got these uh, new filters here. Oh, you yes. duct taped it. I duct taped the new filter that's actually supposed to be a paint filter on there. And unfortunately, the ones that came with it weren't. You do know respirators are cheap. Well, I do. Oh, just check. Hey, this video could be educational. Yeah. It just uh, might end up being a uh, review of the uh, Harbor Freight paint gun. They could be. All right, I'm going to start on this side, Porter, if you want to get the uh, um, stool thingy platform. But don't don't put them leg to leg, interlock them. That way, I don't have a 12 inch step to try to pull through. <coughs> <coughs> like that right? Yeah, just so they're close. Uh, cool. We could make this educational. Let's start with uh, this gun I've had now almost 30 years. Uh, it's a DeVille, this has been a great gun. It's never seen anything but clear until, of course, uh, last week when we put uh, material on this vehicle. So I thoroughly cleaned it. I brought it with as a backup plan. And I thought, well, I'll give Harbor Freight a try on their, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, a Spectrum HVLP Black Widow. Uh, I never thought I'd spend $200 on a paint gun at Harbor Freight, but we'll give it a try. I had the, my last color gun uh, and larger material gun, uh, I finally had to throw in the scrap pile uh, after as many years as I can remember of using it. It finally uh, met its life and I wasn't going to install or invest any more money into it. So one way or another, I thought just for kicks I would give this Harbor Freight gun a try. Uh, I do have to say it's nice and light. I had to buy their regulator and gauge uh, for another five bucks. I think we can live with that. Uh, compared to, you know, Devilvis, you'd probably spend 40, 50, 60 dollars on a regulator there. Uh, you can't beat the Devilvis gun. I'm sure everybody out there is going to throw out their brand that they like best, but I grew up on Devilvis, shot Devilvis all my life, and uh, had no desire to change. But we'll try this one. So it's going to be a tough one to beat. Uh, I brought this with as a backup plan, uh, despite I do not want to put uh, color through it again. Uh, so we're going to try our $200 Harbor Freight unit. Alright, uh, you guys want to pack that dog off? I'll start mixing some sealer. Yep. 
I am gonna grab a new one. Where's your cat rag? Right there. Right here. No, you don't need a new one. Just grab that one. Okay. Well, sure, with all the one that it's all the dust that rolled up. Yeah, flip it around, turn it around. It's nothing but beeswax. It'll okay. suck it up. Yeah, I use these things for me. Okay. You can't restart cars if you don't have money. Alright, so we can get around it. With, let's run it up to three. That's I can snap my fingers. I can. I feel like I should get one of those on. Holy crap, look at that pattern. Holy shit. That's intense. Okay, I can live with that. Okay, so far it's a winner. Now we'll see if we can actually put the tail on the vehicle. So I don't know if you yep, heard what we were talking about, the paint gun. Uh, so the Harbor Freight paint gun does have a flaw. Uh, the needle doesn't close tight in the nozzle and uh, it drips. So as soon as you uh, let off the trigger, uh, the needle isn't sealing tight. So uh, continued to drip, didn't realize that. As soon as I reached the gun over the car, down came a drop. And what you can do to remove a droplet or a run Take a piece of two inch tape or whatever you got and just dab it down, remove some of the material, then roll the tape a little more so you have a clean spot, dab it down, pick up more material, and just keep rolling it. Dab it down and you can get it down to where you can't even notice it. Uh, we took a glance over there now, put another coat over the top of it and you gotta look pretty hard to find it. So that's my tip of the day. Should I show my paint? Clean the paint cup trick. Yes. Pour the lacquer thinner into the paint cup, put a strainer over the top, push down, seal it, give it a good swirl all the way around and it cleans up the side walls of your cup. Then after you take that first rinse out of your paint cup, you take this strainer and you put it in your paint gun, pour it in, use that to rinse. You got two, two cleanings out of one. So I'll try to explain to them what I'm doing right here. Drying paint. Instead of sitting here for like four hours waiting for the little itty bitty spot we got on here to dry, you can all fix it. Troy told me to uh, put the heat gun up. Just don't want to overheat it. Because nope. what will happen is if you overheat it, it will cure it faster than the surrounding and you'll get a wrinkle. So is it dry? Yeah. So now just take a little 1000 over the top of it and lay it flat again. You could even take a little bit of, just a little circular 600, knock it first, and then 1,000 to take the 600 grid out. Val and Jeremy. And so you really can't see this color because their camera guy's over there uh, playing it this night, so this is the color we're spraying. Hang on. All right, try that again. Yeah, we don't that? see her much anymore. You know, he's got a girlfriend, she's got a boyfriend. Quite the color. They show up long enough for their So it's going to go on shiny and it's going to dry flat. Just showing the pattern here. You got a tape measure? Yes, I do. It's That's over 12 inch pattern. So we're at, there's six ish, <coughs> eight. That's 12 foot. Just over a foot. Yeah, just, a over, over, just a little over a foot. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's give her a turn. There we go. It wasn't shooting square. Much better. That's a nice pattern. <laughs> Pretty cheap. <pattern. laughs> So as you see right now, it's very shiny. We all think it looks amazing. Uh, he wants it flat, so we're going flat.
Okay, say something. Say something? Yeah, do something. Like what? Oh, so remember we were talking about this handy dandy new paint gun we bought? Um, the Black Widow by Spectrum from Harbor Freight. Uh, wasn't sure what to think about it at first. It was dripping paint and uh, after doing a little playing with it, we got the drip to stop. Uh, so that problem was solved and then we weren't moving enough material so we just backed open our uh, uh, material needle and next thing you know we're moving material. And we were getting a 12 inch pattern uh, and laying it down nice and wet. Uh, worked great. This was a single stage paint, uh, no clear over the top, it'll dry uh, uh, it with a satin finish. But my uh, end result of the gun, great gun, sprays beautiful. Uh, once we got past the drip, it was perfect. Uh, the only thing I didn't like is the cleanup. This cup, it's got to go in the garbage can. Uh, we'll put an aluminum cup on it that cleans up a little easier. Uh, otherwise, it's just uh, every nook and cranny just still holds color. So there you have it. I think it's worth the 200 bucks. Thank you.